Well, as long as I have the object in SketchUp, I may as well continue. I'll show you how to texture it and bring it into world. Texturing in SketchUp is very simple. It's stupidly simple. I've heard people say it's so complicated. I'm going to show you that it's not. Really, it's not. Bring up the uh, paint bucket. Now, before you export anything out of SketchUp, texture it. Even if it's just temporary holding textures, texture it. Or you won't be able to texture it in world. Mesh objects need to be mapped with some kind of material, some kind of texture. I'm going to use a temporary texture on this object because my good textures are in world. And just, just for fun, I'm going to use the brick. It really doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to use the brick as a temporary holding texture. And we'll drop it there and look at it. Actually, the repeats are pretty good. If you want to use some other texture, actually, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good the way it is. But if it worked, if it worked, I would right click, choose texture position, and then I would use these to resize it, or rotate it, or whatever I like. Isn't that simple? This, these, these four things are on the corner of the texture. This one moves the texture around. Uh, this one warps it. This one tilts it or tilts it. And this one rotates it or changes the repeats. I'm going to just arbitrarily, oh, let's see. Oh, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's probably going to be a solid color in the world anyway. But it has to be textured with something. Okay, select it all. Sample this brick and drop it everywhere else. Okay, we're done. That part. Now, since these pieces are separated, even though I put the same texture on every piece, these are actually separate objects, so you could retexture each one of these pieces with a different texture in the world, since you see that they're not the same piece. What I basically have here are one, two, three. 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 objects, each with a texture on it. Coincidentally, it's the same texture, but it's irrelevant. They're separate objects. They can be retextured separately. All right, that's textured. I should probably scale it down to something more reasonable. How big is it now? It is about 10 meters tall. That's, that, that's, that's kind of stupid. That's you. So let's uh, let's select it all. Hit S for scale. Grab the corner and let's bring it down to. Uh, how about like that? How big is it? Now? About three meters. That, that, that's good. Enough. That's small enough to bring in world. We can fine tune it. Time to export. SketchUp 2017 can. Export and 3D model. It can export in DAE, but there is a bug. I call it a bug. There's a bug in all versions of SketchUp higher than 7. The DAE file will be exported and it will work, but it's going to be broken into random pieces. Rather than one, two, three, Rather than 10 pieces, this could easily come out as 50 pieces. Uh, the front of the P and one piece off the Y, another piece could be the front of the bunny and the side of the collar and maybe the entire A. It's random. It's totally random. So what you do is you save it as a SketchUp model. I'll put it in order. We'll call it bunny. But, you see down here where it says save as type? Save it in SketchUp 7 format. This is a good thing to do anyway because SketchUp 7 and SketchUp 2017, ah, no, I had that backwards. 2017 and 
2017 can read SketchUp 7 format, and so can 7. So what I like to do myself is I save everything in SketchUp 7 format, then both versions can read it. It doesn't go the other way around. If I would have saved this in 2017 format, 7 could not read it. So I use 7 as my standard SketchUp format. Now we go over to SketchUp 7. Now we load the money in the SketchUp 7. SketchUp 7 is not as powerful as 2017, I really admit it, but the files that it exports will be one solid piece of mesh. Well, in this case, it will be 10 pieces. But uh, still, it's what, they'll be solid pieces. They won't be randomly broken. Okay, we have this thing in 7. So we now export 3D model. Unfortunately, unfortunately, very sadly, SketchUp 7 only knows how to do one format, that's KMZ. That's not a problem whatsoever. I'll show you why in a moment. The KMZ file is really nothing more than a zip with a different name. We rename the KMZ to zip. Track that. We'll find a folder called images, which contains all the textures of the model, and a folder called models, which contains the DAE, a single piece DAE. Well, in this case, it'll, in case it'll be a 10 piece DAE, it does have 10 separate objects, but still, they'll be whole. If this were a single object, it would be one whole single piece mesh. Okay, off to the virtual world. Okay, here we are in the Oh, I wish to note that that extra SketchUp 7 step is optional. If you don't mind your mesh being multiple pieces linked together, then export it straight out of 2017. Not a problem. Just a matter of um, principle. I like my meshes to be single pieces if possible. So again, if you don't mind your quote-unquote single object being a bunch of random objects linked together, then export with 2017 is quite fine. It works fine. Okay, here we are in world. Build, upload, mesh model. Storm will just sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there forever. So load it from file for me every level. Oh, and if you use auto generate, it's just, it's just terrible. The LEDs are just terrible. So I do it this way. Physics, low as possible, we're not going to walk through it. Move the textures and go. I'll pause the video, this could take an hour. It actually only took a half an hour. <laughs> no, I think it was about two minutes. Okay, upload. Okay. Alright, here we go. Funny. Oh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to break your eardrum. Why is this? Oh, okay. oh, there's my bunny.
there we go, pretty good. Pretty good, that'll do. Alright, thank you for watching.